Well, hey there folks, welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Uh, it's time for another beer review and today we are looking at uh, beers from the sadly now defunct Dig Brew in Birmingham. They're a great brewery and they're sadly no longer with us. As are many breweries up and down the country uh, here in March 2023. If you're brand new to this channel, welcome along to the Hop House. We'll call back to be like hoppy beer, or like house music. If you like either of those or both. Then give us one of those, give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. It sounds like your cup of tea. Okay, not drinking any tea today though. Up next, this is a beer that I've had before. I did review it from Dig Brew's uh, little um, clubhouse, bottle shop and mini tap room opposite New Street Station uh, when the train strikes were on and they put me up in a hotel at, at work. I went out and about and did a few beer reviews. Why not? What else am I going to do? Sleep. Um, so I'll show you what we're going to review then. As I say, I've had this before on draft, on keg, and it's this. It is twenty three nineteen from Dig Brew, and it's a raspberry sour ale. But it does say it's a sour with raspberries, vanilla, and pink salt. So it's actually a Goza style sour. It says kettle sour, but it's a Goza style. Um, it is 5% on the ABV and a 440 milliliter can. There's the artwork with the Dig Brew sort of um, funky logo on. Quite renowned with the artwork, Dig Brew. As I say, Dig Brew in Birmingham. It's a very urban area. It's a load of industrial units. There's a lot of warehouse raves and things like that going on there. There's a couple of breweries there. There's Holton Turner, which is a bigger brewery from Birmingham, and then Dig Brew. So their branding and their artwork and everything reflects. There's a lot of graffiti and, and local artists do a lot of work on the, on the empty warehouse units and under the railway arches and all that kind of thing. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a very student area, lots of student bars. There's, a little, uh, there's an Irish centre there, and on Paddy's Dead they have an Irish parade right down Digbeth High Street. Now I'm just seeing the colour of this. I totally forgot, you know. Even though I reviewed it not that long ago. It wasn't this year though, it was last year. I just totally forgot the colour of it. So raspberry, sour. Ah, oh, what do you know? It's pink. There we go. We'll pour it to there. I'm using my beer co glass. It's got the little men on and the beer co logo. Put your beer then in the glass. It is red. It's got sort of a slightly white slash pinky head. Uh, bubbles clinging to the sides of the glass. They should go away in a minute. Should we do a bit of laser vision? Now, sours usually they do go away, the heads on sours, but this. Does say it's got vanilla in it, um, it's got some lactose in it, I think. So it may stick around. So there's your head, bit of laser vision. Yeah, you can see the bubbles chasing the head. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, for those that love the lacing. Should we get some aroma then? Let's put that into there, let's give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. It's definitely a, a lactose sour. I can smell, well, I can smell the vanilla in it. So maybe it's not lactose, maybe it's the vanilla. But we'll put vanilla in it and make it lactose -y. I don't suppose so, unless it's vanilla milk. I'm getting, the vanilla's coming through, it's really strong on the forefront. I'm getting a tiny little bit of that um, sour smell that I always get. I just quickly bought through it with you um so you know when you go to a pub and they have a, a, a soda pop gun like a coca-cola and, and pepsi gun or whatever and the syrup goes and it smells a bit of sodery i always tend to get that smell when i get sour it's just something that my mind goes back to when i was a kid and used to go to a working men's club they used to have family days and the syrup would go and i'd be like mom i don't like it take it back um so it's just a, it's always a smell that i really didn't like as a kid so it's stuck in my memory banks for some reason. And then I always seem to get it with a sour. But apart from that, vanilla and raspberries, vanilla and raspberries, it's quite sweet and fruity. Definite vanilla and raspberry in there. And a little bit of that sour smell, but the sour smell's not massive. Let's give it a try, bottoms up, down the hatch.
cold as that um, and I think maybe it's done the beer a bit of a favour oh. oh wow that's remarkable oh I like that oh shit how do I describe that pardon my French oh what a beer what a beer wow oh So, you put it in your mouth, the carbonation is quite prickly, it's a bit fizzy, sours usually are. Is it that, is there something to do with soda water in the process of the carbonation, I don't know. Is that what, well, how it comes out with that smell? The sweetness down the middle of the tongue, you're getting bits of that vanilla, down the sides of the tongue, you're getting like a tart raspberry. Then you, when you swallow it, it sort of, boom, that sourness, that tartness really kicks in. It goes to the back of your palate, you've got a really, uh, uh, it's still sticking around the sides of my mouth though as well. It's a little bit all over the place this beer. It's kind of trying to get your attention. Hello, I'm sour, I'm sour down here. And uh, and then right at the back end, the salt comes in. The salt comes in after you swallow it, it sort of follows the sourness, this salty sensation in your mouth. And then right at the back end, the vanilla comes back and it sort of gives you like a little sweet finish. So it's, it's, there's so much flavour and it's all rounded and it's all going on and it's, it's frying my brain, it's twisting my melon, man. That is brilliant. Absolutely effing brilliant. Ah, it looks like, it looks like raspberry juice, doesn't it? Raspberry juice or pomegranate juice or cherry juice or something. Oh, it's getting more soury now. Now I'm getting the, the sodery, soda pop gun smell. <clears throat> it's making me burp. Apologies, when I have sours, they always make me burp. It's good if I have a bit of indigestion, I might have a sour. Not like I walk around town or something with a kind of sour beer in my pocket, but it's quite good to get. That's why I think there's some sort of bicarbonate of soda or soda water element or something in souring beers. What? Oh, oh, that was, oh, there's that salt. And now the vanilla's coming down the middle of the tongue to the back of the palate. And it's taken over from the salt. It's like a salted caramel fucking God knows what. Well, salted vanilla. Um, 23.19. Raspberry sour ale, kettle sour, raspberries, vanilla, and pink Himalayan salt. For your ingredients, uh, water, malted barley, oats, maize, wheat, raspberries, hops, vanilla, salt and yeast. So it's not lactose -y. It is not lactose -y. It is, um, it's fucking tremendous, but it's not lactose -y. Oh man, have a look on, on your bottle shops or anywhere for that. Whether or not you still be able to get it anywhere. I doubt it. Which is such a shame. That is genius. That in a can, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing where the best before on it is. I've had it a few months. Um, probably had it since about November, so I don't think it should be that out of date. That, 2319, is superb. The Optimo was quite bitter and tart and, and lovely, but that, that's better than it was when I had it on keg. I think maybe when I had it on keg it was too cold. This is a little bit warmer, it's allowed maybe some of the ingredients to come through a bit more. <coughs> two thumbs up, two feet. Dick an ear in there, four limbs out of four. Oh! Beautiful, chaffing out people. <laughs> 